boy recovering tonight after a golf cart accident left him with a traumatic brain and skull injury. He's been fighting for his life for days, and the progress he is making has amazed his family and his doctors. But the medical bills are stacking up, and this family is tens of thousands of dollars in debt. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards joins us from Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak with their story. It was a phone call no parent wants to get, but sheer horror turned into an overwhelming amount of hope. It was the most horrific experience ever. Lori Pukowski describes that day nearly three weeks ago when she got a call from her son Drew's friend. The 13-year-old had been involved in a terrible golf cart crash, thrown 20 feet, landing on his head. When, they, when he was in the ambulance on the way to the hospital, um, I rode with him. They had me sit in the front seat. Um, and I didn't think he was going to make it to the hospital. Drew had fractured his skull in three places, and though he underwent surgeries at Beaumont Hospital with a brain injury in a coma, he was clinging to life for days. Then one day, a breakthrough. Drew awoke and started making tremendous progress. Drew's parents say they had and have been praying around the clock for him to improve, but they were astonished by how far he's come. He can talk, write, and understands a lot. He does not stop to us down me. I mean, he is the strongest kid I know. Cards now fill Drew's hospital wall with messages of encouragement from people the Romeo teen knows and those he does not. It's been absolutely incredible. Like, I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, it's been incredible. When I saw the cards and, you know, stuff just come in while we were in the waiting room, it just, um, it's shocking. I just don't know what to think of it. But the medical bills are piling on for the family. Just to be airlifted alone costs them $28,000. And doctors are advising that Drew begin all kinds of therapy at home because he has Asperger's syndrome and would do better in a familiar place. But that's another hefty expense. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help the Pukowskis. But the Pukowskis say, though they are struggling to pay bills, to Drew's recovery so far is priceless. When uh, we look at the degree of his injuries, um, I would say almost half of people don't even survive. So when you see how well Drew is doing, it, it uh, uh, brings a smile to your face. And, and while the family is hoping that Drew continues to progress, they're also hoping that GoFundMe will help them with their overwhelming bills. And we have that information on our website at WXYZ.com. At Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak, Tara Edwards. 7 Action News. And our best hopes and wishes to the family. We're following a